Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we have a bunch of Monster High news from some scrap designs for characters. A new face variant has been spotted for Dracula Gen 3, the Monster High minis have been found and much more so stay tuned and let's get into it. First up, thanks to Akleos now for sharing these pictures and the designer, the actual artist behind these concept designs that were scrapped is actually at Jackie Drew JKO on Instagram. They did a fantastic job at bringing these characters to life in a contemporary and relevant trendy style and seeing the early stages of what characters were gonna look like at some point is really fascinating to see you know the thought process and like the evolution of what they ended up going the with. The first two designs here for Gulia are really really different just also in uh, outfits so the outfits also kind of vary the the base pieces are the same but there's like small little touches that change like for instance the one on the left with the long straight hair she's wearing a beanie in in black and the actual Gulia doll does come with a beanie um but the shirt is kind of like ripped and then the uh, design on the right she has long sleeves and there's a look like a little a cutout moment on the shoulder and it just it really looks cool there's a little the little print brain print on the sleeves and the hair is also short um some some bangs and it, it looks really cute then the other two that are highlighted here is the one with pigtails but a really ripped up shirt like on the uh on the bottom and then the one on the right as you may recognize there's a little reference picture on the top corner that is of ramona barnes the character uh but the live action version played by uh elizabeth oh my god what's her name it's i, I know her name it's elizabeth something <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she played the character in the live action version adaptation of Scott, Scott Pilgrim against the world or versus the world. Uh, it's a video game uh, slash novel slash, you know, live action movie. So it's it's a really fun uh, franchise and adaptation of the book, co comic book. Um, and it, it's a really like... Ramona Barnes is a really well-known character because of the, you know, whole... whole um, manic pixie girl uh trope and the hairstyle also which is what they used here as reference for gulia's hairstyle which i think looks so nice and it's actually like really cute it's like a little punky uh pixie cut like a little wavy and and it's just it's so nice and then there's even like some shadowing on the shoulders and like the shirt is different as well like this is way more of like an edgy take on on Gulia, and I feel like now that I've seen it and like the darker lips, like girl, oh, I wouldn't mind seeing that turned into like doll version. Um, and then also just the the way the skirt is actually like like a uh, wavy, like there's a specific shape like drooping down. That doesn't that they didn't keep that on the actual doll. Maybe it's a little, maybe it's a little bit like um wavy, but it's not like specifically like uniquely. Uh, cut like these shapes here so it's it's very different and i just I, I live for this look next up for spectra the first two designs are really cool i mean they're very also simple and like very similar basically the outfit underneath is the same the only difference here is the um cape that kind of changes it's like a little little jacket around her and the belt perhaps also changes a little bit like the, yeah there's a little, like extra belts like chains hanging down on the left and the hairstyle is the same but it's really just the belt chain and then the cape which i feel like would i give her a cape for the doll version i definitely feel like something like a jacket or something cape like would really maybe help elevate but the look. seriously when i tell you these two bottom designs are actually giving me life the bottom uh left one specifically with the little highlights of blue the little uh diamond chain thing around her uh you know forehead and then the outfit is completely different i actually prefer this outfit and it just looks way more like ghostly very uh flowy just uh, i just love the design the pattern the pattern used here and then the one on the right is very similar as well but more like with the curly hair like on the top design so i think overall spectra i actually would have loved to see the um bottom left design um adapted for the actual series that would have looked so nice can you imagine that would have looked so so mystical and like ghostly and i hope for the actual doll that they do something more interesting like this as well next up for torlai the outfit doesn't really change it too much just just some different variations of the t-shirt being in yellow or black uh the hairstyle is really here uh also the body proportions the body type and height is what changes here uh gulia had that as well with a, a couple designs but for torla here they really experimented with like her height petite you know slim or like tall curvy so they 
were really experimenting with like what was she gonna have what kind of body type what kind of height was she gonna have and like i think they made a right decision with making her basically like an average height doll and character in the series um and in the hairstyles they first uh you know they obviously the twilight doll has long hair um and they wanted to move or move away from that for the series so they came up with some uh you know shorter hairstyles and the actual final hairstyle that they uh went with uh was actually based on the actual hairstyle that the artist has in real life so that's that jackie has in real life so that's really fun with howleen also very similar to torlai where they didn't drift too far apart from the original you know base design for the clothing uh outfit and it was just more about experimenting with the final touches for the hair so like they knew they were gonna have her in a ponytail of some sorts like a curly ponytail uh but was it gonna be a top bun was it gonna be you know positioned more low Lower or higher so that, that's more like what they experimented with and then also some of the designs for the eyes also changes and then some of the patterns for the clothing pieces also differ but the body type for instance they never varied like they always knew she was going to be smaller and like petite surprise we also have a boy here it's manny tour and i'm glad that we also have some more you know uh designs for him that are also very different the first designs on the top uh he has a completely different kind of like mouth position and the uh, proportion the hair is also like more like a platinum blonde on the left and then it's more of like a normal blonde on the right they also experiment with that kind of a little bit more in the other designs and then what he's wearing um is still like a you know uh like button down shirt with a little vest on top that's red but here kind of like varies with the you know uh the color for the left and on the right it's green and the button shirt is also like more of like a blue bluish tint um the pants are like pretty much the same but it's very interesting how they you know could have varied uh they varied so many different colors of the same piece you know he's even wearing glasses adorable and on the bottom he's also wearing glasses on the top uh bottom and the, the oh my god the bottom left corner <laughs> and the hairstyle is different he also has he he also has both horns in some of these and in some of these he does have the you know half horn uh still on so it's like they were also still deciding like okay are we gonna have him with like two full horns or is one of them gonna be like broken off so that's also very interesting and then i guess they kind of like landed on um him with uh, something that's very similar or to the um top uh right top left corner and then the bottom right corner design so yeah my takeaway here is that spectra's design is godly it's it's it's, it's god level i don't know why i just i love it i just think it's so cute and it's just so spectra you know it is totally spectra and then for gulia this design spoke to me the most with the ramona barnes you know reference it's just so perfect for gulia now thinking about it and for torlai i didn't show this at first but this little hairstyle with the bangs and a little top buns that is adorable like i'm living for that low-key <laughs> moving on as many of y'all know today was the launch of the first doll of the second tonka tour collection midnight runway frankie stein so she dropped a couple hours ago and uh this was also a couple hours ago but i do think the um that she might still be available on mattel creations for pre-order because last time i checked uh people were you know saying that she's still not sold out so that's kind of amazing and maybe hopefully mattel will realize that you know they can't just you know pump out some kind of like hunt couture looking collection and expect us all to be in love when it's just not even comparable the you know the price point and then everything that they also come with and design wise it's just not comparable especially with the new Skultimate secret series 2 only costing 30 bucks and they come with so much and design wise they're so much stronger than the midnight runway dolls which i'm gonna say yes it kind of feels true to me um and then you get for 75 bucks you get one doll one stand in a box so it really is not comparable to the first collection of haunt couture and i hope mattel wakes up and realizes that they gotta put some more effort into these releases you know moving on to the monster high minis that were made by the world's smallest uh you know brand um this is yeah so these these pictures are from at super tito rico on instagram they i don't know how they found them i don't know where they found them I don't know how much it costs, honestly. Probably like something 
around the tens, <laughs> 12, 10 bucks. I don't know. How much would you pay for, for these minis? Because these are minis. They're the same size as Brad's, as we'll see in a second. Um, and I, you know, I think they do look better. Like the, the actual application of the colors and the face up is much more. It's a little bit better here than we saw in the stock photos in my shorts video that I made a couple of days ago. Um, but still, the detail here is is non-existent. It's like the bare minimum um, to kind of that you can say like, yeah, this is Claudine, this is Frankie. Like that's that's basically all they were trying to do, like give you an idea that these were the characters that they were representing and that's it there's like no detail there's nothing else the, pa the packaging doesn't even look like the actual packaging for wave for the original wave one gen one monster high ghouls like it's, it's not comparable and um it's just yeah i mean again it's better like it, and I'm sure that it'll, it'll, it'll <laughs> I'm sure it'll also look different, like depending on which one you get, the paint job will be better or worse. Um, but yeah, I mean, and so here, yeah, so here you can see the comparison between Sasha, a mini Brad Sasha doll, a figure, and then a mini, uh, mini a world, world's smallest uh, mini figure of Gulia. So yeah, and I mean, do they look cool next to the actual Wave 1 ghouls? Yeah, but are they gonna be worth spending money on? I don't know. <laughs> and lastly, we do have to talk about the new Draculaura Indonesian face variant. And I know these pictures came out a while ago. I'm super late on this. I'm very sorry. There was just never enough Monster High coverage out this week. It was just never the right moment to make a video about, you know, where I could have included the new face variants like like today so i wanted to wait until i got more footage and so here we are on friday and this first these first pictures got released like they got shared back a week ago probably um and so it's basically we have a new variant a new face variant that got spotted and this one specifically is the one that's made in indonesia so it seems that we're going to be getting different face variants for dracula now we have the one on the left here that is by the you know china factory and then we have the one on the uh, right that is the one from indonesia so the face up looks a little bit different everything else is the same and people have been saying that the new indonesian variant var the indonesian variant kind of looks like g2 because of the big eyes and the eyes are just a little bit more um positioned differently so i'm not sure which i prefer i think i prefer the first version a little bit more the china variant with you know the one that we've seen so much of so far um this new one does give me i mean it's still cute but if i could choose i would choose the china variant i don't know why i just like the way the eyes are more like slanted and they're more like um cat eye looking i think that's really the difference here because the actual like print job is the same it's just like the positioning of the eyes it's like bigger on the new ver variant so it really depends if you find both variants in store you will get to choose obviously but if you order dracula right now just you know pay attention because keep in mind that you know you might get the variant that you don't want to get because these are now being released into you know stores and you know probably amazon will get them as well so just keep that in mind let me know which one y'all prefer and that was the video i hope y'all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the adulty you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses